Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of Horeb the Snake Man from Tarzan the Epic Adventures by Trend Masters. This was a line in the 1990s of Tarzan and Edgar Rice Burroughs characters, and so they made a few toys of characters from the Earth's core, and Horeb the Snake Man is one of them. He comes with several accessories and a computer disc, and uh, I still haven't figured out how to get those computer discs to work on a modern computer, but uh, I'm still working on it, and if I get that going, I will let you guys know. Uh, he does make sound, and we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, the packaging is quite nice. It's the standard black packaging that you would get uh, with disc figures, and it's a box, and it has all the toys that you can get in the line on the back, as well as instructions on how to change out the batteries if needed, and some instructions on the disc as well, though they are a bit dated. And this is worth three Tarzan points. And so we'll be taking a look at how to open the box in a second. But first, I want to say that this logo right here that you've been seeing in all these reviews, this is for both the TV show and the toy line, I finally tracked down what this is an image of, and I just wanted to share with you guys real quick. So the image comes from the cover of Argosy All Story Weekly on December of 1922. This was the first chapter of Tarzan and the Golden Lion, and the cover reads, The Triumphant Return of Tarzan of the Apes. And of course, it has Tarzan with his spear and Jabal Jaw, the Golden Lion, on the cover. And so that, my friends, is where we get the logo for Tarzan the Epic Adventures. All right, so the box opens from the top. Don't do like I did a couple reviews ago and accidentally open it from the side because you don't have to trash this box. It will open from the top and you'll be able to take everything out without damaging anything. And here's the horror of outside of the box. You will need to rip open this plastic bubble and I'm gonna do that off camera, but that's the only thing you really need to destroy. Otherwise you can put them back in the box, you know, if you wanna store them or display them that way. So here's horror of the snake man with everything out of the packaging. He comes with a disc. Uh, again, I'll be looking into how to get these to work, and he has instructions on how to use the disc. Uh, they're a little bit dated. You're going to have to Google it and try to figure out how to emulate um, Windows 3.1 in order to get it to work. And so he also comes with two accessories, and this is a nicely detailed shield. I think it's supposed to be a stylized snake head. I think the snake is twirling around and then you get this head with the fangs, I think. Uh, if it's something else, let me know. I'm not sure, but it is nice and shiny and detailed and I like it, <laughs> even if it is a little bit of uh, stylization there. And then there is his spear, and this is the main weapon of the Horobs. And so it's meant to be primitive, and it does look that way. You know, it's something that they would make with natural things that they find. You know, they're not, you know, they're not exactly running around with guns or anything. They're, you know, kind of Stone Age weapons. The Horob comes with a removable cape. I believe this cape is probably a bit of artistic license, but it's a really nice bit of artistic license because it looks like he, you know, killed a large reptile and made a cape. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it is removable and you just take it off. It goes off really easy, uh, maybe a little bit too easy. It will come off if you knock him down or anything. So, uh, but here he is without his cape just Horeb in all of his glory. Uh, nothing else comes off of this guy. Everything else is attached. And so you can see he has some very nice detailing, a lot of scales on him. He looks very reptile-like. Uh, you can see his fangs and his eyes. 
you know, just re really nicely detailed all the way around. As far as articulation goes, his arms move up and down. His feet can move so they can get in a sitting position if needed. And his head moves at the neck. And because you've been good little boys and girls, I'm going to go ahead and let you hear what a snake man sounds like. Obviously, Trend Masters had to use their imagination on what exactly a snake man would sound like. And of course, the answer being terrifying. So there's a sound that will haunt your nightmares. So let's see about the accessories. His spear's kind of gummy. It goes in this hand, and the shield's a little weird. Um, you have to do it what I would consider to be upside down for this hand if you want it on that arm. Or if you want it right side up, you would have to put it on that same hand that comfortably holds the spear. But either way, now he is equipped to deal with all of his enemies in the Earth's core. And you can do the spear in the other hand too. It just, it's a little looser and it's going off at an angle, but it looks okay. And so Horeb actually does come from Tarzan at the Earth's core. And so he actually did fight Tarzan in the novels. And so he looks really cool with the Tarzan figure from this line. Uh, Tarzan's roughly 5.5 inches, and Horeb the Snake Man looks a little bit taller, so that's really cool. It's kind of nice to actually have someone that Tarzan actually fought for real in this toy line, so that's awesome. And so how faithful is this guy to the novels? So I was able to find the paragraph where Burroughs describes him in Tarzan at the Earth's core, and so uh, he's supposed to be disproportionate. His arms are more proportionate to his body than his legs, which are supposed to be squat. And he's supposed to have three toes, five fingers, uh, a snake's head, two pointy ears. He's supposed to have two uh, tiny horns on the top of his head. There's a little more than that. So that's a little bit of artistic interpretation. And Burroughs actually describes the arms, the face, and the feet being different colors than the rest of his body. They're supposed to be very pale, but I've looked up like different comic strips and comic book interpretations of him. No one does that. So this is probably about as close to the novel as you're gonna get with, you know, ignoring certain things that, you know, everyone does ignore <laughs> in the description Burroughs gave of this guy. Oh, and the spear is directly out of the novel. He should also have a knife, but that was probably cut for budgetary purposes. And the apron style thing that he wears is directly out of the novels as well. This should be some kind of reptile hide, which is probably why it's green. I think it should probably have some scales on it, but that's fine. And since these Tarzan figures are on the 5.5 inch scale, of course I had to see how Horeb looks beside the Snake Man I grew up with as a kid from Masters of the Universe. And so he looks really cool chilling with Cobra Khan and Rattler. And as you can see, his accessories work uh, with them, or at least the cape will drape over the shoulders of a Masters of the Universe figure. And Masters of the Universe figures can hold the spear. The shield is kind of uniquely sculpted to his arm, so it doesn't really work with anything other than him. So overall, this is another cool figure. I never thought I'd want a Horeb from the Earth's core, but now that I have one, it's awesome. So I thought that this was going to be the last Tarzan the Epic Adventures figure that I was going to be reviewing right now. But since I reviewed this figure, I have found out that there is a 5.5 inch Kerchak figure that exists and so I went ahead and got that and that should be coming in the mail so next time we'll be looking at Kerchak the evil evil ape like and subscribe for more videos and until next time stay away from Horebs because they are scary scary creatures